Good morning again, everyone. Welcome to Steam Saturday, presented to you by the Hugh Embry and New River Libraries here in Pasco County. Today, we are going to be making quicksand, also known as oobleck or a non-Newtonian fluid. For this experiment, you're going to need one package of cornstarch, about one and a half cups to two cups of water, a mixing bowl. I'm not sure what size I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna start with a smaller one, but a bigger one if I need to move to that. Got my measuring spoon to measure my water and a spoon to measure it with. And I've also got a golf ball because I'm going to be throwing some things into my quicksand. First things first, you empty the cornstarch into the bowl. Don't dump all the water in at once because you might not need it. You want to make something that has the consistency of honey it looks like whipped cream. This is definitely resisting being mixed. What is a non-Newtonian fluid? Do any of you have any idea? Or do any of you know who Newton was? Newton is the guy that discovered, well, he didn't discover it, it's always been there, but he explained gravity. He also explained to us about the three states of being, solid, liquid, or gas. So this is going from a powder, which is a broken up solid, to a solid, so we need to make it more liquidy, so we need more water. So I told you that Newton described for us solids, liquids, and gases. So a Newtonian item, like this table, that's a solid. So what do we think a non-Newtonian fluid would be? That's something that doesn't behave like anything else. Okay, I think, I think this is about right. When you're swimming, does it matter if you swim fast or slow? The water around you doesn't act any differently, does it? What makes a non-Newtonian fluid different is it will react differently depending on how much force is applied to it. So, here goes. If I apply a lot of force, this should act like a solid. sinking in. But it didn't splatter, did it? And how about if I, the opposite force of pulling my hand out really quickly, let's see if that's going to work. Oh! <laughs> no, I could not. I really could not yank my hand out. You saw the bowl come up off the table. Now let's try slowly, which is very little force. Oh, there's that whipped cream feeling. Oh, that feels gorgeous. It's soft and liquidy. Now, if I move my hand around really slowly, yep, feels like honey. Feels like a nice, soft, you know, maybe like a really runny pudding kind of feeling. You can tell there's definitely more to it than just, you know, sticking your hand in a cup of water. Now if I try and pull my hand out really slowly. See, it comes out no problem. This is, this is a lot of fun, I can tell you. I'm gonna try, you know what, here's what I have the golf ball for. See, I'm gonna see, oh, I want you to watch this. Let's try throwing the golf ball at it. That 
thumped really hard. I felt it in this arm on the table. Oh yeah, it does not want to be, when you try and pull it up really hard, or really fast, that's how much it sticks. Wow, this is awesome. Let's see what happens if you pull it up. Let it go like slime. So look at this, it's like a solid. You can break it, it's almost like a banana. But then it goes to a liquid. When you're rough with it, it's a solid. Ugh. But then when you let it go, it's a liquid. Oh my goodness. That is really crazy. So, low pressure liquid. Lots of pressure and it's a solid. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I will have an instruction sheet for you at the Hugh Embry Library starting on Monday. And um, it has the ingredients that you need as well as the instructions of how to mix it up and along with a little bit of the science. And it will also have the, um, the address of where you can go to watch this video again. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you again next time on Steam Saturday. Bye! <laughs>